Hi guys, this is Skidflash here, and welcome to not the final part of Persona 3 FES, but well, the beginning of the end of Persona 3 FES. In this part, we will be walking around Kaya's lying dead body, not dead quite yet, and we will be taking on the final boss. Are we ready? We've been ready. We've been ready for quite a while now. Um, so let's just get on with this. As little aside, um, this, the finale, which is like, you know, everything you're seeing up here, is like really, really long. The top. Like, so I don't know the, I don't know where hey, the best, like, place to actually, like, split these up would be, so, Something's um, coming. try to expect, like, really long next? parts for this one and the next few, I and I apologize about that persona. because this is the first time I don't know how to do happened. that. Really? It is the first, I don't think it's the first time. I, I feel like you've done that quite often, actually. Um, but guy just materializing okay that's ominous this giant angel of death with giant sword and many black wings and very very creepy wide smile that's such a Japanese thing I swear to god Ugh. <laughs> spooky okay if I was if I was any and if I was under level that is you are it is how does one make that comparison? Like, honestly, do you see a Ryoji anywhere in this appearance? But apparently it is. Yeah, it was a nice name, I suppose. But really, you don't What's look... Wait, you don't look like you? Ryoji at all. I wouldn't have known like you're Ryoji if you didn't tell me someone you are. But he's the Nyx avatar now. He's the avatar of, of Nyx. Yeah. I'll defeat you no matter what yeah, you like, are. really, but you're not Ryoji. I mean, you are, I but see. come on now. And he has a fountain on his now. head. What, what is with that? Most, what they try to ignore. He is death. Is yes, of course. We know that. You know when the freaking elementary school kid says so, that, like, yeah, people have been does. rambling. We have heard enough you of the death talk. All living things from the moment they are born. And we know this. We're come to terms. You also understand that it's pointless to resist. So why because you screw you, we're not dying today. No. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah great, I'm there scared. is. <laughs> it's no use carrying on about it. I wanna yeah, live. who doesn't, man? I'm tired of running. Living like, means looking death square in Yeah, the face. you're supposed to. It's like, what was the line like? So I won't back down. You Not don't like. I don't know. <laughs> All I, I know is Takaya is wrong. People want to live. That's the thing. Life. Like, you understand death, that but it still means like. Decision. Still means, you should still like. You know, want to live. Look at the clouds. I, I always like the clouds, like the silver lining Everyone, thing, like ready. super black clouds, but like Nix light, light. Oh yeah, and he's gonna attack. I'm sensing shadows approaching from and this is the game's clever way of saying, Everyone um, you're only having a party of four, this is our last which I find kind of funny. We can't afford to lose. Um, because could you imagine using a whole party of everyone? That'd be crazy. Oh yes, but um, music, incredibly awesome music. I don't know. I I, I don't want to pause to like let you guys hear the music. I mean, it's fantastically awesome and I want you guys to hear it, don't get me wrong. But like, I don't know, I feel like if I did, I'd just have to pause throughout this entire boss fight because this entire music is incredibly awesome. Um, but yeah, this, there's just everything about this song. Absolutely love it. Love it. Made an alley at, by the way. Um, but one more to say, yeah, it's awesome. It's the battle for everyone's souls. This actually, I guess it's story time right now because the first phase of this boss, he's not going to do anything, so feel free to like set up all you want and do a shit ton of damage because <laughs> he's only level 87 or something. And we're going to steamroll him. Um, but yeah, as little story, because he's also going to tell stories after. This is a multi-phase boss fight. And get ready for that quote. Every Between every phase, he's going to give you some life lessons, I suppose, because this is that kind of boss fight. So this is a multi-phase boss. It goes through all the arcana. Very, very symbolic, yes. Um, so, and it will stop at death. So that means this is technically like a 14-phase boss fight crazy I know um each phase has 1500 health and he changes his strategy each time like for example the magician arcana is fire specialty which means no fire will work and he uses fire 
careful. Its properties have changed. <laughs> if it wasn't for the fact that he does, as you might have saw, an obscenely, laughably low amount of damage, I might almost feel like bad. I do feel bad about this. Um, yeah, look at that. A main, a normal attack does like 60, 600 damage. And like, again, well, every phase only has 1500 damage, so like, only a three attacks is enough to change a phase. So, yes, this is, every, we can change a phase a turn. This might be what you would call way too fucking OP. But again, back to the music. Um, that's because I'm not, like, letting you guys hear, and I feel bad about that. But this, the music of this uh, final boss fight was actually how I found Persona 3. I guess we're getting to story time now. So basically... This, like, is, like, the most, like, roundabout way of doing things, like, how I found this game. It's kind of, just kind of funny if I think about it. So, like, if you need me to analyze it, just we were, we were, I talked to, I talked to my group of friends, and we are making, like, I guess, like, joke accounts. Okay, so, <laughs> this is definitely final boss chatter. He drains ice. Oh my god, Mitsuru would have done 1200 damage, though. But basically, we were making accounts, like, fake accounts to, like, talk to her, like, I don't know, prank our friends, I guess you could say. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna do that. So, like, I was making an account, and I, it wa I, like, I remember specifically wanting to have it, like, start with a K. Like, it was gonna be a, it was gonna be, like, a combination of Tomoko, because I just finished watching, uh, Heaven's Lost Property. <laughs> Again. Very, very odd. Very, very not suited for the final boss. But, um, so I needed something to end with a K, so I didn't know any, like, I was, like, thinking of Kirby, but that wasn't cool. So I looked up characters that began with K, and I found Koromaru. And I looked up Koromaru, because I had no idea who Koromaru was. Um, so I looked it up on the wiki, and he has, and, you know, as you would know, Koromaru's story is based off of, like, the Hachiko story. And I had just finished playing The World Ends With You, so I was like, Whoa, this game talks about the Hajiko stuff too, that's really cool. So I looked up Persona 3, and then I looked at the music, and I, I, I listened to the Battle for Everyone's Souls, and I was just sealed, like that was just a done deal. I was sold. I immediately ordered Persona 3 FES for the PlayStation 2. Um, I didn't even have like any means of playing it, but you know, I, I do that a lot. I buy games before I even have the console to play it. And yeah, that's how I found this game, by the final boss music. Lovely, right? Um, meanwhile, you know, because there's a, you know, a, a final boss going on, <laughs> I seem to not pay attention to that because it is an absolute joke. We are on phase 4 of 14. This would be the Emperor phase, uh, so electricity, no good. I like how, like, each phase is kind of determined by, um, an element. A lot of them are, like, at least the first four are. Like, even though, like, there's no reason, like, Emperor should be associated with, like, Thunder. Like, the only reason that's the case is because Akihiko's Emperor and Akihiko has Thunder. And, like, Mitsuru's Emperor, so Mitsuru has Ice. I forget who was on uh, Wind, though. I know Lovers, like, because Yukari is Lovers and she has Wind, but I don't think Lovers is Wind-based. If that is the case, then I would be surprised. Um, so as you might see, I'm not really taking this boss fight seriously. You might look at the damage we're doing. We're doing an obscenely large amount of, large amount of damage. This guy is doing an obscenely little amount of damage. It feels like, like this boss fight is more him talking and switching phases than it is, like, actual, um boss fights, the forces that guide ourselves, what would that represent? That would represent Hariophant, I guess. Apparently. Um, every, every quote he has does have something to do with, um, the Arcana he's about to change into. And yeah, uh, gotta love Aegis with her Dekunda, so that nullifies our stat boost. In, like, all the mainline, in a lot of the mainline Shimigami Tensei games, that's, like, a godsend. That's something you absolutely need, like, he's using, really? Um, <laughs> the chump. Um, but like, in this game it's more like a, of a luxury, so we don't really need it. Uh, so the main two persona I have are Aliat, which is my healer, um, and Orpheus Telos, you know, <laughs> that you're regretting using that, uh, that revolution now, aren't you, Nick's avatar? Okay, so this is lovers, I can tell that, understanding one another, that makes sense like switch into lovers and stuff but yeah the battle for everyone's soul what i like the velvet room part where he starts doing the like doing the uh, opera thing 
Like, that is just, when it stops, the music, like, stops, and then, like, it goes into that. That's just, oh my god, I get goosebumps, like, every single time. I absolutely love this song. And apparently wind attacks. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> the, um, the lovers is wind-based. That's kind of hilarious. And using stat effects. That makes sense. <laughs> Alters your, um, mind of thinking, because that makes also sense. Oh, I could have sworn that would have critted me because you know I think all almighty attack is physical based it does all it does almighty damage so you can't like block it or anything but it still like is a physical based attack that you can get critical hits on if I do believe right here I mean uh, yeah but whatever it, it's kind of silent in comparison to us talking I didn't notice that um but yeah I highly recommend just going out and listening to the song because right now we're like halfway done with this boss fight <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I, I, I guess I could talk more about this boss fight. If you're doing it, you know, um, without being obscenely overpowered like I am, it can kind of be a threat. You gotta, you gotta pay attention to like, you know, the arcana he's switching to and try to act accordingly. If I didn't have all the weaknesses covered, I kind of feel like having Yukari and I guess would be kind of dangerous because they're both weak to thunder and that'd be kind of bad. Um... But yeah, I died, like, it's a very, very long boss fight if I wasn't, like, you know, totally god right now. In fact, like, it, it might even, like, go up to 40 minutes longer than this very video itself. I do, if I do recall, like, both times I played this boss fight, it was, like, 30 minutes. And funny story about this boss fight. Um, the very last phase of the boss fight is actually the hardest phase. We'll be seeing that later. Rightfully so, of course. Um, so the most times you're ever probably gonna most likely die is during that final phase of the boss. <laughs> you know, after the 30 minutes, which is incredibly dickish. Um, but another thing is that when I was playing this game for the first time, like, my PS2 died while fighting this boss. This, like, this was legitimately, like, the fall. <laughs> Everyone in the PS2 world just died. I actually had to borrow my friend's PS2 just to beat this game and the final boss. I, I, I actually still use this PS2 because my PS2 is broken. So you gotta thank my friend. My friend is like mostly the reason I can actually do a lot of the play Let's Plays because I own a lot of his cords. Um, but yeah, more final boss fight. We're doing nothing and that's just oh so bad. Oh no, I guess Ice isn't doing anything. Again, he changes his um... He knows every like different things every phase. He slowly begins to null more and more, if I do recall, like, I know a lot of the physical-based ones, he just nulls all physical. And I know there's one where he nulls all magic. Okay, forging one's path. I, I believe that's Chariot, that would only make sense. Oh, Hangman. Or Hermit. Um, okay. <laughs> Would've fooled me. So Tetrakaran, that's just... hilarious. I mean, so we can't use a... Like... During this boss fight, my entire, like, um, mentality was, okay, let's not be, like, too cheap right now, because I could just spam, like, Thunder Rain like a madman, and do, like, 1200 damage apiece, because Thunder Rain plus Elect Amp plus 99 magic is just obscene. So I kind of, if you notice, I've just been attacking with Minato. Hell, I could even rush. I could turn on Rush right now, and I could, like, do most of this boss fight. Um... But I wouldn't want to do that because come on. I mean, I'm. I want to say I want to keep like some tension to it, but honestly, all my commentary is just totally like blowing that away. <laughs> there is, there is no tension in this boss fight right now. I also set um I guess on support in the hopes that I'd actually make her do like you know um six damage. A Mafu Bufu Dine did six damage. I'm sorry, but like we're. <laughs> This isn't even a thing. Um, I did set I guess um, in the hopes that she'd use a uh, Mataru Kaja, or was it Mataru Kaja? I think it's Mataru Kaja that the one that increases attack. I still get confused. But yeah, so maybe that would speed things up. But in the in, in the grand scheme of things, I might have actually slowed things down. Um, yeah. So nothing but physical attacks work. How sad. So yeah, it's Mataru Kaja that. Uh, does attack. I was hoping she does that, but she seems to prioritize the other ones. <laughs> and he's using Zeo now. Magaru. I feel like even the final boss has just given up all hope. 
Like, honestly, <laughs> we are deaf now. Like, I think that's what Nick's avatar is thinking right about now. Like, he's like, it's useless to resist. No, it's useless to resist on his side. So this is strength. That makes sense. Only through endurance and whatnot. But, <laughs> this would be phase 11. If I recall, death is unlucky number 13. So, again, we're almost there. How hilarious, except not. It's kind of actually sad to watch this. To watch this slaughter. Such a slaughter, in fact, that it apparently just totally broke uh, <laughs> my audacity and I had to find, like, you know, time to record, like, a week and a half later. But that's, that's beside the point. For now, we're just gonna spam Thunder Rain like I said I wouldn't do. But he made me do it, I swear, I, I tells you. <laughs> it was, it was, a, he, he decided that, let, like, you know, physical wouldn't work, so I had to retaliate accordingly. So now this would be 12 Hanged Man, so the last one before death, phase number 13. Um, this is phase number 13. I, like, any time, like, they ever, in anything, like, computers do this a lot, whenever they count zero, it trips me up, like, a lot. And it's just something, you know, I, again, it's, it's, it, all it takes is, like, you know, remembering that that's a thing that happens, but, you know, every single time that does happen, it's bad. And now he's using Mamudu, and honestly, I feel like this boss would have, like, he'd be statistically, like, <laughs> more, like, um, able to win if he actually just spam, like, Mamudu and Mahamon. Um... Oh my Orpheus, tell us at least. No, I do have a homunculus, that's true. But you know, like, he it, it's better than what he's than the six damage he's dishing out now. Oh, and he's uh he's repeating his very beginning opening statement. This is like that was his intro paragraph and this is his conclusion. The problem is this was such a short essay that like, you know, you're you're not supposed to really repeat things like that because they'll notice really fast. Because like, you know, this lasted. This this didn't last actually, it was very, very quick because, you know, kicking his ass and whatnot. But yes, this is the final phase of the fight, so like our Orpheus Telos, he now has a resistance to everything except Almighty, I think. I mean, that won't stop Mitsuru from doing a mind charge 600 damage, and Yukari from doing like 250 damage, um, and you know, us still kicking ass in general. But he does have 6,000 health now, so it's four times more than usual, but again, it's it hardly matters. While in the death phase, he has access to every single type of spell that he had in the previous phases, as well as two mo new moves. This is Moonless Glow. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that we got him to activate Moonless Glow, like, really, really quickly, um, then... Uh, Fuku would have told us to like, hey, you should try and not do shit right now because it's probably dangerous. So when he goes into Moonless Glow, um, you want to press everyone on standby. If you're feeling like, you know, lucky that the AI won't do something incredibly stupid, you can set them to heal and support, and like have I guess maybe like buff or Yukari heal. Um, but during this time, it's the perfect time for like setups. Again, I don't know like, I don't know what command you'd put like to make Mitsuru do mind charge. But if there is one, that would be the time to do this. But um, yeah. Uh, uh, but if you're n other than that, you can just set everyone to uh, set you set everyone to wait. Because the thing about this boss, he'll he'll put up a shield. This is Moonless Glow, and not do anything in Yukari, and do something. I'm just gonna Dakuna in a few seconds. Um, yeah. Okay. So now 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 Fuka's now Fuka's finally caught up because we're doing things too quickly. Like uh. You should not do that, guys. So yeah, you want to wait because if you actually do, re I, <laughs> if you you do if you retaliate, um, you get penalized. And you know, for uh, for information's sake, I'll show you what happens <laughs> when you actually do it. And it's actually kind of funny. Um, so I think I'm gonna mind charge right now, just because you know I can. <laughs> and it's just gonna kick his ass that much more. When he finally does undo his thing, I don't think Almighty attacks um go through Moonless Glow. But anyways, if you attack with any attack, you retaliate by doing 500 damage. <laughs> when I saw this, I laughed so hard because like this is like the attack that like this is the go-to like defense attack. Like if you attack him, he kills you. That's pretty much how this works when you're not like gods. 
<laughs> at level 99. Like, to the point where, like, you know, 500 damage is only half our health. Like, obviously, Meteor couldn't do that twice. But the fact remains that, like, this move that's meant to be, like, you know, the danger, the ultimate danger, just is still, even that's a joke. Um, but besides the other move, the other move he has is, um, I think it's called Night Queen. It's heavy almighty damage, and by heavy I mean, ooh, maybe even 50, or 100, could you imagine? Um, and random status effects, but obviously Minato has, um, thing that prevents that, so, you know, even that wouldn't do much. You really do want to have, again, if you're not, like, breaking this boss, like I am, you really do want to have Unshaken Will on. Um, what's kind of an interesting aside that I never knew is that, um, he is resistant to everything but almighty. But even so, I think a Thunder Rain, um, a Luck Amp Thunder Rain will still do more than a Morning Star, even with the Elect Resistance. Which would kind of give way to the, like, the idea that, like, the Elect Amp, um, Thunder Rain does, like, a shit ton more than Morning Star from the get-go. And I am actually, I'm actually curious about which one does more, because Ultimate Almighty Attack, I mean, technically Black Viper is stronger than Morning Star, but I didn't want to fuse Black Viper. Using Orpheus Telos like that was already a pain enough as it is. Um, but speaking of pains, because we're pretty much like, you know, doing so much damage so quickly, I'm pretty sure, um, uh, Nick's avatar is like kind of programmed to do like, um, uh, Moonless Glow at set increments, but because like, you know, we're doing so much damage, he's kind of just spamming it. That's kind of annoying because it's pretty much just putting in like this battle at like, you know, a grinding halt because it's not like he's, it's not like we're any at in any danger in the slightest, but at the same time, it's not like we can do anything right now. But set up, of course. And you know, I might as well even use Salvation? Or Marukunda, of course, even more setups. Great, the more the merrier. Um, but yeah, about that Night Queen, I'm only explaining Night Queen now, because, um, spoilers, he actually didn't do it this entire boss fight. He only does it when he's at, like, a set increment low amount of health. And because, again, we're doing so much damage, I don't think we actually got to that point fast enough before I just ran out of patience and decided to kill him. Um, but that's beside the point. Right now, uh, we can set everyone and then go ham on him. I'm gonna use... I, I want, again, this is me probably gonna test out Thunder Rain or... No, just sticking with Morningstar to be safe. I don't want to waste a Mind Charge after all. And besides, a Mind Charge, Morningstar, Murkunda still does like almost 2,000 damage, and that's just disgusting. <laughs> Ew, I know, I, I, I feel terrible about it. Um, so again, so we're pretty much close to killing him. We, like, at any moment's notice, we could probably just drop a Morningstar and kill him mind charged or not um but this was me kind of trying to read him and it kind of ended up me not reading him at all because I was expecting him to do night clean you know just for showing off sick because you know you gotta you want to be informative and whatnot but so I switch I think I switched to um everyone not doing anything because for one thing I was way too lazy to just I, I was too lazy to even establish the buffs like we're so like I waited because there's, I'm, I was too lazy to do mind charge like this is getting an annoying honestly um <laughs> we're we're literally like keeping this final boss alive right now like on mercy alone but yeah, so I switched to, um, Vishnu, because I thought, like, okay, now it'd be, like, the perfect turn for him to use, like, Night Queen, so I might as well use Infinity so he doesn't, like, you know, hurt me like that. And sadly, no, that's not how things went down. Um, but this is Infinity. I think I've showed this before. No matter, like, n when you do this, pretty much no attack will ever hurt you. I'm not sure if status effects can still hurt you. I mean, status effects couldn't hurt me, Nato, of course, because, you know, um... You know, he's immune. I'm pretty sure he has some form of unshaken will on right now. But yeah, we block his almighty attack. So we saved ourselves, like, you know, 30 damage. Hip hip hooray. But at this point, I was like, you know, <laughs> okay, he's lived for long enough. Might as well, like, you know, end this in style because I'm a mean person. Part of me in the back of my head almost wanted, like, someone to get charmed and someone to die or haunt him. 
Just cause, so I can show off the fact that at any moment in time, I could have ended this phase by doing 999 damage. Uh, when he dies of black feathers, how cool or something. But yeah, that was that was the final boss, guys. God to love excessive grinding, right? Did we do yes, we were more than capable. Oh, he's just gonna get back up? Oh, that's too bad. It's too bad that the story doesn't, like, you know, um, correlate to the fact that we're also OP as fuck right now. Because it almost has, it, it looks like they have the upper hand or something, and that's just flat out not true. But he's gonna get back up very slowly, and very ominously, very Such a dully or something. Um, <laughs> you understand fate, yet you still fight against it with all of your will. If more people were like you, then perhaps the fall could have been prevented. Yeah, I feel like Final Bosses say that a lot. Like, if more people are as cool as you, MCs, like, humanity now. would be cool, but it's not like that because it happens in Devil's Survivor 2. I'm pretty sure it happens in a lot of Tales of games. Um. But whatever, <laughs> I guess humanity isn't isn't as cool as the seas crew. But I guess it's too late. Is it too late? There's a giant eyeball in the sky. <laughs> Typical final boss, right? Him doing some ominous did establishing the connection. I I I'd, I'd be dropping references right now, but honestly, I'm too late to think of any. I like the the patterns though. Those look cool or something. What is that even? Even those giant flat patterns floating through the sky? I'm pretty sure that would cause some destruction. That's supposed to be the size of the moon, or you know, except really, really close. And the people out of their coffins. <laughs> Time for them to freak, freak out. I mean, like you know. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm glad someone said the sky. Pretty sure that's the first thing I would have noticed. And, you know, at least the cultists are like, you know, they were right. But yeah, those creepy bastards. Um, but speaking of creepy, that's creepy. I, I could have sworn I saw their eyeball, that's even more creepy. Oh no, creepy scene is creepy. But, yeah. You know, final cutscenes that I'm still talking over nonchalantly because that's just how I... I have come to accept this about myself. I don't care. I will unhinge any, any, um, <laughs> scene. But... What's Takaya laughing for? Really, no. <laughs> Fixing, isn't it? The look on your face is priceless. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let, let's not, let's, come on, let's be serious here. Do? Um, like, Something's we're, we're too cool for you, Takaya. Don't, don't act like, you know, you got us had. Also, don't die, because we really gotta show you up right now. But I, 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 I think he's gonna die anyways. <laughs> That's too sad. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Nix's gravity beam this. is killing me or something. Are you out of your mind? Look who's talking. Yeah. Death is imminent. Surely you know this. What do you hope to accomplish now? We're well, saving the day. Shut up, Takaya. I wanted to see the end with my own eyes. And you didn't, right? Jin. Oh, okay. At least he. Okay. That's a suitable sort. Not really. End. I suppose. I will never give up. Oh, that's right. I, I keep on forgetting Aura Gia mode is a thing that exists. I probably should have used that during the last fight. But yeah, um, we gotta we gotta handle this uh this gravity beam times ten gravity. Goku could handle this. But no, extra dose, double dose, bone crushing, I suppose. <laughs> I love how they're just <laughs> they're trying to fight the final boss by standing <laughs> like it, it, I guess it's it's um it's metaphorical 
but yeah okay cool now for uh velvet room times happy velvet room times I'm, I'm assuming and by that I mean no not at all uh Fuka yeah has to no Fuka person I don't even remember her name like Natsuki or something and look at all the social links they all just decided to come here I suppose that's nice <laughs> like everyone ever like connected to Minato in the slightest and that guy we bought items from him or something. <laughs> I wouldn't call him a connection. But I'll go in here. What are okay. the odds? Gotta stay calm. Just like Fuka was when she saved Oh, me. okay, yeah, she'll see she remembers that. I was about to say like Do you really just think about like a ra I know they were important, but like do you really just think about a random friend like, you know <laughs> when the world is ending right now? But I won't give up. Uh, uh, the spoilers. That's what. That's what's gonna be going down in the past in the next few minutes, actually. But okay, now happy velvet room times. You can tell by the tiles and the doors and the animation, the oh so familiar animation. What I like about this scene is that like, it it out of my it, like the, it starts off by like you know the middle of the song. There's no need to worry. This isn't the <laughs> You're not dead yet, yo. Um, alive. that's nice. Good to know time Remember stopped or something because we don't have you. enough time for you to like do things. Yeah, and how he got an Orpheus Talos and wreck shit. We already Listen. we've done this. Come on. Can you hear the many voices? Each <laughs> this is reminding me of the How Not to Play Persona Q comic, and that's just you. hilarious. I recommend all you guys look that up because it's funny. But yeah, I can sense them. <laughs> I busted my ass to get all 22 of these arcana. Yes. I mean, some of them were automatic. I didn't have to even work at all to get some of them. But look at all the light. It's like a Meji Dolan light. Except cooler. <laughs> because we have those already. But yeah, Kenji. And now we get, like, you know, reassurance from all our friends. I mean, these guys don't really know we're fighting enemies or something. I don't... Maybe this is like theoretical. Are they actually saying this? I don't understand this. I don't quite understand. But, you know, if they're lending us their support, it's a common thing. I mean... See, the thing is, this happens a lot in video games where, like, you know, you hear, like, help from all the, like, the people you met with. But, like, the thing about that is they, like, actively know that you're fighting things rather than now where, like... We're kind of just schoolboys. We're, <laughs> I mean, albeit an awesome, godly schoolboy to them. But, like, do they know we're fighting? Who knows? Maybe they're not. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> the, the fact of the matter is they're going to be giving us power. And because we did all the social links, um, they're going to be, we're going to be hearing from a lot of people. I, I, I'm, like, deadly curious what happens if you do, like, not a single one of these social links. Because, like, technically none of these are necessary. I mean, like, the only ones that are required are full judgment and death, and we're not hearing any anything from C's or the gang. So, who knows? Like, can you hear the... Again, the how not to play Persona. Um, something or other comic. <laughs> 3. That's the Persona 3 game this is. Um, yes, I guess we are fighting or something and not running away because we taught people lessons or something because we're so cool we're the messiah archetype character that's like legitimately what we are i'm pretty sure that that's actually a thing it's a trope um but yeah we're shoving on so are we done almost yet moon moon's almost done i know you always do it's so reassuring though scenes like this always give me goosebumps i mean they would if i wasn't totally just like you know talking over it um Can you hear yeah I do like how Akinari was the last one. Mostly because, like, you know, the sun's the last, like, one of the last ones, but, like, you know, this transcends life or whatnot, friendship. Again, if someone has not completed, like, a single social link, I'd, I'd love to see what happens in that scene. Or maybe it's, like, you don't even have to complete them, you just have to start them, if that's the case. No, because he's, like, you taught me so much, but anywho's. Yeah, we get cool thing. This is indeed a <laughs> Even surprise. Igor is like, you know, Behold, shit in his pants right now. Power you and I shall Together, Igor. Is the power 
Because, you know, we're a social link with you, I guess. Never want to see you leave, right, Igor? To be awesome. Awesome. I mean, the universe, guys. This is like, this is like the pinnacle of like why I love like Minato or Isato. Like, the world is typically the trump card in these Persona games. Like it's the it's like the very last tarot card, but the goddamn universe, man. <laughs> It seems that in addition to death, fate has also dealt you the wild Yeah, so I guess I'm kind of ex I'm, I'm, I'm confused about that. Like, what's our main. Like, what's our main, like, arcana? It's fool, because, you know, that's how it is. We're fools, but I guess we all, also have death because of, uh. Ryoji and whatnot. And then we also, like, you know. And fool is also wild card. Not necessarily, but he has wild card, because. However, this game decides to <laughs> distribute its powers and, ca and its lore. But yeah, holy shit. Longest elevator ever, right? We spent a good... Uh, I'm gonna guess like 20 hours in this velvet room alone. Maybe 15, that's a more accurate number. Actually, no, maybe... Yeah, I'd say 15, 10. 10, like, legitimately, which is crazy. But we're here. We got our universe ready to wreck shit. Because we're awesome. And everyone's, you know, not having trouble standing and whatnot. But first power of the universe, being able to stand. Badass. I know, I know. Try to <laughs> try to hold back for now. Second power, being able to fucking fly. That's a bit cooler. I don't know say, honestly say. Is that a grin on his face? Classic Minato grin? I hope it is. Because Minato's fucking awesome. The universe, guys. Nothing is beyond the realm of possibilities besides, like, you know, story. <laughs> but we'll get to that. So we're just gonna... <laughs> Even the way he flies is just, like, you know, casual and chill as fuck. Um, so now we're going on a trip. <laughs> this is... I swear. Um, drug-induced almost. Seemingly anyways going through everything looks cool and whatnot we're upside down because why not we're the goddamn universe um can do anything but yeah look at that half moon i think it's not a full circle so i don't know what that is but there's a i guess you could say um that would be nyx and all his thorny goodness and whatnot 